Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Tech and today in this video again I am going to show you that how you can flash Resurrection Remix ROM on your Lenovo K3 Note which is clocked at 2 GHz. So first of all you have to download all the files, uh, the ROM file, the GApps file and the modem file and you have to put it in your internet storage. As you can see I have already put it in my internal storage and all the links are in the below description. And you need TWRP recovery to uh, flash this ROM. Uh, I have already made a video that how you can flash TWRP recovery on Lenovo K3 Note. Check those videos. Uh, all the videos are in the Lenovo K3 Note playlist. So check that. So as you can see, I have switched off my device. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open the custom recovery, which is TWRP recovery. For that, you have to press volume up, volume down, and power key together. As always, you have read it just do it it's very simple and as you can see TWRP recovery is here so first of all go to the wipe section and you have to go to that advanced wipe section and there you have to clear the cache cache and data uh, mark these three And now click on swipe to wipe and as you can see it's successful so let's go back uh, let's go to the install section go to the install section and search for that zip file first of all we have to find the uh, ROM file as you can see the ROM file is in here resurrection remix 5.9.9 zip file tap on that and swipe to flash it And as you can see the flashing process has started and it will take a few minutes so what I'm gonna do I'm going to skip this video to save your time and as you can see the room has successfully flashed and now what do you have to do you have to wipe cache and Dalvik cache though it's not compulsory but I recommend you to do this because it's a safe process to flash uh, zip files flash rooms whatever you flash just after flashing it you have to uh, clear that cache and the cache and after that flash that Z apps click on it and swipe to flash and it will take few minutes to flash G apps and as you can see G apps is also successfully flashed and again wipe cache and the cache then go back and flash that modem file and as you can see when I'm flashing that uh, modem file it automatically reboots so do not uh, worry about it and it is booting up it may take a uh, few minutes so what I'm gonna do I'm going to fast forwarding this video to save your time and it is successfully booted up as you can see and yes it is multi-language there are many languages so maybe you can find uh, some of our uh, Indian language and now let me do the first setup and show you the inter user interface so first of all it is looking great and it is uh, neat and clean there are free apps which are pre-installed and uh, no bloatware, no uh, unnecessary apps are pre-installed here. Two sound enhancer program is installed here. One is the Dolby Atmos and another one is Max Audio. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to check this ROM for a couple of days and uh, I'll be showing you what are the bugs here and what's working, what's not working and uh, tell you everything about this ROM on the next video. So for that, stay tuned by subscribing my channel and if you have any request uh, for any kind of gaming review or something like that to let me know in the comments below because I do not like to uh, make gaming videos because uh, it's capable of gaming uh, whatever room you are using it's capable of gaming so gaming is not an issue but the issue is the battery life the heating uh, the another bugs or something like that which are really important in day to day usage and guys another thing I have to tell you that uh, this room is 
is uh, running on Android version 5.1.1 Lollipop, not Marshmallow. So uh, uh, a little bit of disappointment actually. And also uh, the uh, it's having a new kernel and uh, that is overclocked the CPU to two gigahertz. I I don't think that two gigahertz is really important in day-to-day -day usage because 1.7 gigahertz is more than enough. Uh, but let's check if uh, 2 GHz is really important or not by using this ROM for a couple of days. So that's it pretty much for this video. Do hit the like button if you like this video and for more videos like this do subscribe. Please do subscribe to support me and support my channel. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. You guys always have a great day.